friends in this edited video I want to show fixing of this tilted glued eye well the upper part of the eye well has tilted backward I want to fix that this is 10 o proline suture with this straight needle I have gone through the limbus at 8 o'clock have gone backward now I'm trying to hook the haptic of a sensor multipiece intraocular lens and after several attempts here it is I could hook this haptic of this glued eye well now I take a 26 gauge needle go through the limbus at around 11.30 o'clock pierce the iris go backward and after several attempts I could thread the straight needle into the lumen of the 26 gauge needle and bring it out and in this maneuver there was some bleeding from 12.30 o'clock now this is an incision at 9 o'clock this is about a 2.2 millimeter incision and now I introduce a Simco cannula and I remove the blood from the anterior chamber and do some lavage and now I check the whether the wound will be sealed or not now this is SPMC 2% SPMC filling out the anterior chamber now I, you see I'm using an instrument which is like the letter Y and I'm pushing this suture towards the people so that I can hold this suture easily with a capsular axis forceps now I introduce the capsular axis forceps through this incision at 9 o'clock and remove the thread from the right side and in this way this I could see that the suture has nicely come out but the other thread has to be pushed again forward to hold that so I need the Y instrument again push this thread towards the center of the people and now I use the capsular axis forceps again hold the thread and bring it out through this incision and now I have to put a knot and fix the haptic of the tilted eye well to the iris and by the knot the tilting of the glued eye well will be corrected there is a PI peripheral aridectomy at 11 o'clock and this helped me to see that I am actually hooking the haptic so if it is not there we can make a PI with a vitrectomy cutter uh, if this situation arise in your case now in this case I did five knots so that it doesn't slip in the post-op period this patient did very well in the post-operative period because of the tilting of the intraocular lens we could not do proper refraction of this patient but after, but after one week of this surgery we could do a nice refraction and with minus one diopter spherical with minus one diopter cylindrical power this patient got back 6 by 12 vision and it was a very satisfactory outcome yes the haptic has been fixed to the iris now we have to remove the viscoelastic substance very nicely from the anterior chamber unless we remove the visco very nicely there can be a rise of intraocular pressure so we must 
devote some time at uh, this uh, last step this very nice lavage of the anterior chamber should be done and here it is I'm forming the anterior chamber very nicely now I check the wound with a cotton tipped Janssen bud and I find that there is no leakage and I conclude the case thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you sometime in your practice if this thing arises fixing of tilted include I will if you just fix on haptic of the I will you can fix the include I will